this is a quick reminder just to remind you that you do not manifest what you want you manifest who you are now this took me quite a while to grasp in my manifestation journey because previously I just focus on the actual thing for example money right I was like a, a, a focus on the actual amount and sometimes I would get the amount and sometimes I wouldn't but when I finally in the stood in the stood thanks to Neville Goddard when I read one of my favorite quote, favorite quotes from Neville Goddard when you change your conception of yourself you change your entire world so Neville Goddard says that when you change your conception of yourself you change your entire world which you live in because your world which is the 3d is simply reflecting your conception of yourself now what is your conception of yourself it's what you believe to be true about yourself right now what you accept to be true about yourself right now now check this out when you accept right now that you are financially abundant you accept you're like yeah done deal why because 4d is the real world which is the imagination and then the 3d is only reflecting the 4d so i accept that i am financially abundant now what will happen is the 3d will now show you evidences that you are financially abundant you check so it's you shifting your identity you now change how you actually view yourself so my previously you might just see yourself as well I'm the person that earns two thousand dollars or twenty thousand rand um, every month but now you're actually shifting your identity you say hey no I am the person who is financially abundant now now what that means is that I have more than enough and I have more money than I can spend so you see there's abundance your 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 uh, cup is overflowing your bank account is comfortable you have so much money that you always seem to give money away every single month because you are now financially abundant now check this out you have shifted your identity you have shifted how you see yourself so you do not manifest what you want you manifest who you are so now you have to ask yourself who am i who am i identifying as what is my self-concept you're not sure okay well look at your results look at your relationships your love life look at your bank account that will tell you who you identify as now suppose you do not love like what's happening in your love life and you also do not like what's happening in your financial life so what do you want to do is ask yourself so what do I really want so you're now deciding okay you know what I want to be financially abundant then you have to accept right now as you're watching this video that you are financially abundant right now not when you get a promotion uh, get a business start the business do this no no you accept that you are financially abundant right now because there are infinite realities right now for you to choose from so there's a financial abundant you there is a married uh, you there is a perfectly healthy you there is a happy you there is a blissful you you can literally just choose or select which state you want accept that you are the state now and remind yourself on a daily basis that it is a done deal that that's who you are to give you an example when I manifested my beautiful wifey I accepted that I was the blissfully married man now what that means is that my wife is blissful and our marriage is blissful because I am the blissfully married man 
So you see, that's how I changed my identity. While I was single, I accepted that I am the blissfully married man right now, irrespective of what my 3D told me. Because you see, the 3D is a mirror. So whatever I do in the 4D shows up in the 3D. So I'm not looking at the 3D for to see if I'm on the right track. I accept what's in the 4D. So if I accept right now that I'm a blissfully married man, it is done. My job then is just to remind myself that I am already the blissfully married man, irrespective of what the 3D tells me. You see, it is a moment to moment acceptance where you remind yourself that you are the person who has your desires right now. Yes, it may be challenging for sure, 100%. But when you do this every single day, it becomes easier. By you actually accepting every single day, it becomes easier and easier and easier and easier. Which is a beautiful thing. Because if I can do it, my wife can do it, our clients can do it, then surely you can do it as well. And this is just a video to remind you that you do not manifest what you want. You manifest who you are. And I want to finish off with my favorite quote by Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard tells us that when you change your conception of yourself, you will change the, in your entire world which you live in. Do not try to change people. They are only messengers telling you who you are. Revalue yourself and they will confirm the change. Isn't that beautiful? Neville tells us that, hey, all you need to do is go within, go in your mind, go in your imagination, accept that you are already the person who has it. Accept it, will you accept it? Just accept it. And your acceptance wills the means. Your acceptance will now rearrange the 3D accordingly. You don't have to worry about the how, you don't have to mess with the 3D, you don't have to call a friend, you don't have to read a book, you don't have to Google, you just have to accept that it is done right now and remind yourself on a daily basis that it is a done deal. And your 3D will now reflect your new acceptance, whether you like it or love it. So, as I said, just a quick reminder, if you guys have any questions, do let me know. And if you do need help, with one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can find all the details in the description below. Having said that, keep smiling and enjoy your blessing day. Your blissful day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you.